So today we're gonna talk about the weather experiences staying here in the Philippines. So if you are planning to visit the Philippines or to retire here in the Philippines, make sure that you get to know the weather. It's not only, you know, oh, it's tropical. It's like Hawaii, yes. So today we're gonna talk about our struggle <laughs> with the weather <laughs> staying here in the Philippines. So hope you will stay tuned and like this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are here at Beach View Resort here in Mabini. It's a 30 minutes drive from Tagum where we're living now. So this area here, this island here was one of the luxurious resort here in Davao del Norte. So they call it Lubi Plantation by Dusitani. So we never been there yet. <laughs> It's so pricey guys. So yeah, so today we're gonna talk about the weather experiences staying here in the Philippines. So the difference of the weather, like when you are in the north or in the Manila area, Visayas region or here in the Mindanao, there are differences of the weather. So it depends to where you are located. Maybe you are located in the east or west or north. So there are differences of the weather well it's still tropical but sometimes weather here in the philippines you can predict so now we're still in our motorcycle and it's so hard for us to travel every day like going out every day because weather keep changing so if the weather keep changing it's hard for us to be all over you know every day because like we just woke up oh it's sunny day and in just an hour it's raining so it's hard if you are using the motorcycle to travel here especially in this region because we are in like close to the mountain areas but we are still 30 minutes drive from the beach and yeah look at this guys they're uh, catching fish fishermen they're using the nets for you know that's they're living here so we are it's it's amazing local here to see so yeah talking about the weather look at now it's so gloomy and me and david were planning oh we're not going out and like i feel like but he wants to go to the beach and it was raining when we left at home it was pouring but not like that heavy so i told him oh it's not that that heavy rain so we just keep going start our day and you know he wants to go to the beach then now we're here so that's sometimes you know you need to observe the weather because sometimes suddenly in just one hour it's gonna be a pouring rain so it's tough if you have your motorcycle on here for the first time especially if you are starting your retirement here you're just staying you just settled in with the people with the place and then the weather <laughs> so think about if you live here not all the places here are paved so think about if you retire here you're living to a place where you know it's like a muddy area it's it's a struggle guys like <laughs> i saw we, we experienced it so we want to share with you and you know whatever we experience now we really want to share with you not sugar-coated the real one because i don't want like the way we experience before all we just watch in videos it's gonna be like this like that but when we are here it's totally different so yeah it's weather here also sometimes it's a struggle <laughs> if you like rains yes it's not for you maybe so we be, we're from california I grew up here, I get used of the weather, but of course David is not used of this rainy season every day, like I don't know until when, right? So and then it's sunny and then suddenly in the afternoon it's pouring rain. So that's the struggle, it's not really that struggle, but that's the main thing you need to look for if you are, because retirement is not only for paradise, it's also like you are retiring here for yeah like you need to enjoy you know if you're retiring here and then you will not enjoy this weather <laughs> you will <laughs> hate it so yeah we're gonna walk here and talk about some things also that we experience like 
weather look at this now it's pouring rain in that other side there so think about if you are like um, driving just want to explore and suddenly it rains it's really a struggle but once you get used of it once you are adopting it it's gonna be a great experience now me and david are enjoying <laughs> this rain we know already like we adjusted to the place so we know already where to hop in and where to stay in so yeah it's look at this guys it was it was pouring rain when we are living in the house and now it's not that bad so we just stay here maybe another one hour and then we're gonna leave and go back home so that's what uh, we just trying to adjust on we love it here uh, we love the people the here rain in the afternoon That's yeah right. so make sure also if you are planning to stay here if the weather is good when you wake up 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. you need to go because in the afternoon after lunch it's gonna be you're gonna expect it's gonna be raining or you don't know once you see this cloud and suddenly it's just one hour it's gonna be pouring rain here but yeah we but have you got to have a time. real good raincoat too like we have a really good raincoat. <laughs> yeah david is so proud of our raincoat yeah. <laughs> like we're just using motorcycle at this moment so yeah raincoat is very helpful for us especially if we drive and then suddenly it was like we don't expect you know it was sunny and then after three hours it was pouring rain so yeah we have a raincoat on in our motorcycle that saves us you know from getting wet or you can stop by to any like Bahai Kubo or some stores just to find a shade but yeah I, I it's it's a kind of adjustment oh by the way in the Philippines for me if you're gonna move out here living here driving in the Philippines in the nighttime is not I won't recommend you wherever you do uh, maybe if you drove to like a tourist areas like when you are in Mulwal, Shargao but like just only in town you know where you stay where are the resorts so that's the the only thing I will ad advise you but driving nighttime like from you know if you are living in a barangay or subdivision or some villages here you need to bear in mind that it's not safe to drive because maybe it's gonna be raining yeah that's the that's the Luby plantation boat so, so they're picking up guests from that port area there they uh, pick it's a very nice boat like yeah so think about luxurious babe <laughs> six uh, five hundred to six hundred dollars six hundred dollars us <laughs> So it's not safe to drive motorcycle at night because of the dogs, especially the one pro uh, it's not a problem, but the one thing we experience is driving a dog, uh, driving, driving a motorcycle in the night can like, you don't know, there are dogs in the street and the street lights are off. Not all streets are, not all the streets have lights. So make sure and not all motorcycles also not all locals here that they drive in a motorcycle not all motorcycles have lights too so sometimes it's a, not a safe lot yeah don't have yeah it's like not the other safe. night remember yeah the, remember we, by robinson's mall yeah we barely hit a motorcycle because he don't have a lights and suddenly he just like darted out yeah so There's no headlights no, no headlights lights. no there are hel no helmets no helmets and it's it's crazy That's and why it's we not don't safe. Like yeah, we try to avoid it. Sometimes we can. Yeah, as long as we can avoid it, we do. And then also the street dogs. So if you drive with the street dogs, it's really scary because street dogs here are crazy. <laughs> so sometimes you're trying to avoid them, but they are just just staying there, hanging around in the street. And then cats as well, some animals crossing, like goats. Children. So, yeah, children, like street kids, like the kids are just like playing in the street. And then if there's no light, you cannot, you know, see them. So, yeah, and as a foreigner. The best not to 
drive at night if you can. Hmm? It's best not to drive at night if you can. Yeah. A car or a motorcycle. Yeah, my advice, if, if you're a foreigner, just to make safe, make sure that you are very attentive driving at night. So yeah, it's bumper to bumper traffic here, but still we get used of it. We got used to it. Yeah, we're getting used of it. Look at this now. So it's it's weekdays, so it's not gonna be that busy here. See the governor here. Ah, that's I think that's the Samal Island. That's the Samal Island there. That's part of Samal Island Beach, and then. Yeah, the Luby plantation here. We're living in that area over there, Tagum. And then there's uh, high mountains here too. It's uh, Mabini, Mabini, part of Mabini province. So yeah, Compostela Valley province. And yeah, it's good to experience that. We have a great day here and I can't wait to share with you our best experience. Our experience is retiring here in the province. We are not really totally that retired here. We just still in our transitioning, but month to month, everything keep changing. Now we're so excited to share with you our soon to be home. And home. yeah, we are we were excited to share yeah. for one year. We're excited to share with you that because before we're thinking oh we're not staying here in Tagum but we find a place wow yeah and Huge answer to prayer. yeah and that's exciting and then David gonna start his basketball thing as well yes. in my town hope you're gonna like this video and thank you so much for all the friends that helping me in this channel with the new subscribers also my subscribers are watching my video i really appreciate it and see you in the next vlog